Today we've been at Bigger Rugby Club and now over Burns Farm to explore the benefits of slatted accommodation for sheep housing. Widely used in Ireland, sheep slats are becoming more popular in Scotland, especially in more remote areas such as the islands where straw for bedding is extremely expensive and like here in southwest Scotland where the wetter winters and climatic conditions are making ground conditions during the winter more challenging which is impacting growth in the spring. So whether you're looking to design a purpose-built shed or retrofit an existing layout, it is a significant investment cost. But as a business you need to review the drivers behind that and, and justify it for your own goals. Is that to overwinter yows to reduce the reliance on winter grazings or to rest the pasture for more grass growth in the spring? Is it to improve hygiene? Is it to improve business output from finishing lambs? To reduce bedding costs or to reduce your labour demand within your system? For a slatted system to work well, you need to get the basics right. Things like pen size, feed space, and overall layout make a big difference. And today's meeting is all about giving farmers the advice and the practical considerations that they need to confidently design their own slatted system. Today, I've been talking about the considerations and the impact of forage production when you're moving to a slatted sheep system. Three key considerations uh, to your forage production is get your fundamentals right, make sure your soil pH, P and K are right and manage your soil structure. The second thing would be you need to make high quality silage for ewes that are going to be housed pre lamin so that's going to have an impact on when you cut your silage. We want nice leafy green silage so that's going to have to be cut earlier than perhaps you're already used to. And also the positive side of having a housed system is that you are going to have more grass available in the spring because your grass has had a rest over winter. Today I was chatting to farmers about the benefits of sheep housing and the importance of having the right sheep housing and I suppose a wee bit of focus on the floor systems like plastic slats. I think it's really important when a farmer is thinking about building sheep houses or maybe a retrofitting existing sheep houses, they have to think about the current systems that they have in place. What, do their, what is their current system? What resources do they have at hand? And what do they need that building to do for them? So ensure that the building is fit for purpose, ensure that it has um, the appropriate sort of layout and design for them, um, but also if there's different technologies that they can integrate into that building, such as handling facilities, they're really, really important. And do think about how that can actually deliver for their whole entire system, not just necessarily at lambing time, um, but also throughout the rest of the year, maybe that store lambs or potentially um, using that building as a handling facility. Whenever you go to put a building on a farm or whether that be a new building or a retrofilled building, there can be obviously quite a considerable financial cost there and we do have to be mindful about that. But whenever you're thinking about the cost things, also be conscientious that there's small things and small improvements that you can do to every building. There's different technologies that you can integrate into your buildings. So there is something within everybody's budget. So don't feel like that a new shed or new slats is out of my budget. Think about what the resources you need and think about what is most suitable to the budget that you have for your system. We farm 370 acres here, running 1,250 ewes, 300 hogs, and we fatten out all our lambs um, in-house as well. When we bought the farm over, um, the infrastructure of the farm wasn't very good. We had to build a shed. We looked at a few different options with um, straw courts or slats. We decided to go with a slatted option. We could fit far more sheep in the, on the slats as opposed to the straw and a lot less cost of the straw. We get the added benefit of the slurry um, going out and we've saved a fortune in feed, uh, hard feed costs. One of the big benefits is feet. The feet are far better on the slats as opposed to the straw. The other benefit is it's get the sheep off the grass quicker. The fields are allowed to rest over the winter. So when they go out with their lambs at foot, they're going on to clean grass and they, they hit the ground running and they're just in, in good condition. You know, they've got a constant feed throughout the winter. Um, they don't have kind of ups and downs um, with nutrition. They're fed a constant um, all, all winter. One of the changes is uh, making high quality silage. Um, you know, we're, we're cutting young grass fields, cutting it short, leafy, um, high sugar grasses, and we're putting these high sugar mixes um, into the fields. Um, so the high quality silage means we're feeding less hard feed. If I was to do this again, I would maybe um, 
have it geared up a wee bit more for pigs um, as well as sheep so that we could run pigs in the summertime. I would also maybe have a blower system in for feeding fat lambs, store lambs before the ewes go in. But other than that, there's not too many changes. Um, we're, we're pretty happy with how it, how it works, how the, how the shed flows um, as it is at the moment. Mm -hmm.